In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic, subtracting fractions. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. And you guys might be wondering why we're learning the LC method. And here is why. So with the butterfly method, you only use it when adding or subtracting two fractions with smaller numbers. So for example, if you have two over four plus three over eight, in this case, we have smaller numbers. It's much more easier to use the butterfly method. But however, with the LCM method, you use it when adding or subtracting two fractions with bigger numbers. So for example, two over 15 plus three over 18 has much more bigger numbers. And with these bigger numbers, you can use LC method and it's much more easier. You can also use LC method when adding or subtracting multiple fractions. So for example, we have two over four plus three over eight plus four over nine. And in this example, we have multiple fractions. But with the butterfly method, you can't add more than two fractions. Now let's have a look at subtracting fractions with unlike denominators using the LC method. And the example we have is 3 over 15 minus 2 over 18. The multiples for 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 and 90. The multiples of 18 are 18, 36, 54, 72, 90 and 108. So these are the multiples for both 15 and 18. The next thing we're going to do is to find the LCM out of these six multiples for both 15 and 18. The only common multiple we can actually find between 15 and 18 is none other than 90. So this means we need to find what number we have to multiply 15 to get to 90. So what number do we have to multiply to 15 to give us 90? It's obviously 6 because 15 times 6 gives you 90. Because we are multiplying the bottom number which is 15 by 6, we also have to multiply the top number by 6 because whatever you do to the bottom number, you have to do to the top number. So we know that 6 times 15 is 90 and 6 times 3 is 18. So this means we get 18 over 90. So now we can move on to 3 over 18 and do the same thing. So what number do we have to do to 18? So what number do we have to multiply to 18 to give us 90? So the number we have to multiply to 18 is obviously 5. 18 times 5 gives you 90. So this means because we are multiplying the bottom number by 5, we're going to multiply the top number also by 5. So we get 3 times 5 and 18 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15 and 18 times 5 is 90. So we get 15 over 90. So now we have 18 over 90 minus 15 over 90 will give you 3 over 90. But if you notice, 3 over 90 has the highest common factor. They both have a highest common factor. Because they both have a highest common factor, they can be simplified. If you guys want to know more about finding the highest common factor, I've got a video on that. The link is in the description below. So go check that out. The highest common factor for both 3 and 90 is obviously 3. So this means we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. So we know that 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then we also know that 90 divided by 3 is 30. So this means our answer to this question is 1 over 30. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.